Hello everyone. So here's more Long Lines Tire videos I'm going to make. This one's another Long Lines Tire in Maryland. And you see at the very top it's got two Gabriel antennas. Which the Gabriel antennas are my favorite. Which they're white. They don't match the red paint on the tower. So I got several pictures of this site. And there's one of the catwalk platforms. And there's a lower microwave dish on the tower. It's painted with it. So here's another picture of the tower. I'm not sure what the hell that thing is at the base right there. It must be some kind of satellite dish. But there's a close-up of that microwave dish. And here's that thing again. So here's the base of the tower holding up the tower. There's the bolts and the screws. And they got a water bottle and there's some other screws right there at the base of it. I'm not sure what they're I'm not sure if they're working on it or not. And here's another picture of the several thousand waveguide cables on it. I think all the waveguide was removed from the tower. Yep, I think I got another picture of the tower. No, that's a different one. Yep, I found this tower on Google Maps, and I'm going to show you guys. Hang on a minute. Streaby's having a hard time loading today. So the tower still looks the same. There's nothing different about it. Although it does have cell phone antennas on the top. And there's the Gabriel antennas. So yep, there's the um, two horn antennas about halfway up the tower. I even found the towers that this one was in the route with. Like microwave route. But it had like several different microwave routes to it for long lines. So here's the entire station on the maps. Um, this station is an active facility because AT&T still owns it. And they got a lot of cables and stuff like that. It's like an underground facility. So yep, there's the tower. You can see how big the shadow is and how tall the tower is. But it's likely this station's used for fiber optics now because it's a pretty big station and it's still active. So it probably used to be used for coax cable or something.